What is going on, you guys? I am back with another video. So, what I'm doing right now, I'm just wetting my brother's hair. This is my brother. We kind of look alike, right? <laughs> so, but uh, so I am wetting his hair. I'm gonna trim it with some shears in a minute, and uh, I'm taking about like a half an inch to an inch off the top. He wanted his hair kind of like a crop top type of messy top type thingy you know so I'm just kind of inch out the top you always want to make sure that the hair is even but for this type of cut you don't have to make it even well you have to make it even but you do a lot of point cutting so you want to it textures the hair so it makes it more you know messy look you know so but make sure that the hair is wet when you do trim the hair because it makes it so much more easier to see your guidelines or your, you know where you want to cut and everything so I'm not the best at sheer work but I mean by this video I, you can see that I'm just cutting a little bit and I I am following a guide that as you can see I'm not taking too much and I'm just I'm cutting with the points okay you guys I'm cutting with the points and yeah As you can see, I'm wetting my brother's hair just a little bit because I am gonna put texture powder in his hair. You just wanna water that just a little bit, not too, like just get it damp. So I am using this texture powder. I actually like this one a lot. If you focus right here, you can see it. It's called Big Sexy Hair. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it, I think you can get it at Ulta. I, I believe you can get it at Ulta, but I think it's much cheaper on Amazon because everything is. <laughs> so I am, just putting it in there i'm just tapping the top just and i'm just kind of giving him a noogie you know just a little bit and you want to kind of like when you put it in you want to kind of get it in the root so that way it gets the entire hair um i am pulling my brother's hair a little hard like i said i am giving him a little noogie but try to make sure that the texture it makes it look messy and everything i like doing it in the beginning of a cut before i actually start blending because so that way i know what his hair is gonna do and i can shape the cut into his you know his texture top so uh if you guys don't like doing that this is just my preference but you guys should try it out just one time just try texturing the hair before you actually cut it and then just cut it into the texture and just try to make the the shape and everything come together you know so yeah So now that I'm done texturing the top, I am gonna take my one and a half guard with my seniors and I'm going to make a hard line just so I can take off the bulk on the side. So how far I'm gonna take it? That's a good question, you guys. You don't wanna take it too high because you don't wanna dig into the head. So you wanna kinda of keep it at an angle, I guess. So that way you can keep the shape because I said in most of my videos, the shape is like one of the most important parts of a haircut. Some people might not think so, but I do because you want to you want to make your your client's haircut match their head. So you want to make it all uniform and flush and everything. So that is a major part of cutting hair too, you guys, because you want to make it fit the head, right? So I'm not going too high, so I'm just kind of keeping it at mm, I want to mm, kind of midway. So eventually I am going to go with my clipper comb and just you know freehand it. So that's, that's what I can say to you guys that just make sure you guys do keep the shape. Now that 
that that is done we are going to take my cordless wall detailers just to make the ball line so I am going to be doing like a mid fade so I am going to make a hard line just to make sure that the ball line is straight I, you got to make sure that it is straight you guys because it's the most important part also because the guidelines straight means blend straight it means haircut is straight so make sure that it is straight you guys and there you go Now that we're done with that, now it's time for to set the guidelines in. So I have my wall seniors that have the lever all the way open. So I'm making my guideline at half an inch. Uh, make sure that it is straight, you guys. Make sure that that you do not want to dig into the hair. You want to use the corners. Because uh, when you use corners, it means that you're only using one side of the blade. Because sometimes you use the full blade. Um, you can make a hard line and sometimes that hard line is really really hard to take out So my method is hard line hard take out so you want to make kind of a soft line And what I mean by that is that you want to kind of flick up as soon as you hit that line that you want to make so They flick out just flick out and it basically what it does. It doesn't make a hard line So it kind of does it feathers it you know it feathers the hair that's on top of it So it doesn't make it such a hard line and it's gonna be easier to take it out so when you do want to make that that guideline, make sure at the top of the the half inch you flick out. You know, at the top of your guideline, just flick out. You don't want to you don't want to make it in. You don't want to dig so hard into it because it's gonna be really hard to take out, you guys. So now it's time to blend out that bottom line that we made with our balders. So. We're gonna have the lever all the way closed and what I mean is all the way closed is that the notch is all the way to the farthest it can go towards the blade so you want to use the corners and you want to just flick out you know um, use the corners a lot because it is more precise because you can control your clipper more think of it like a pencil you know um, when you have a pencil you can control everything not the full blade you're not gonna be able to control what it does so think about it like a, again a pencil it's not really the best analogy but if you guys know what i'm saying you guys should get it so i do play my levers a lot so i go close and then i go halfway then open and i just keep playing with it a lot you want to make sure that it is blurry and you want to take out as many dark spots as possible because if you do take out more dark spots it's going to make it more blurrier and and this looks more cleaner you know what i'm saying <laughs> so play with your levers close halfway open and just do not go past that that line right there because you guys know that we made that with an all the way open and you do not want to go past that line because you're gonna have to keep making your 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 fade higher and higher you don't want that so just make sure you stay underneath that that open lever and you guys should be gucci So for the next step, we have our one guard. 
Uh, so make sure that the lever is open and you want to make your guide line. It's not really gonna make a hard line because we did do a one and a half. So a one and a half with a one, it's not gonna make such a big difference, but it is gonna lighten it up and you can tell the difference when you are cutting hair. So just make sure that you don't go past that, that hard line up there because uh, we did do that with a one and a half and then with that, that hard line is gonna be what we're gonna use to do the clipper over comb. So this is just lightening it up so that way I can come back with my zero guard and blend that out. Sorry about the, you know, the background, you know, the people in the background. People just don't have the, you know, the, the you know, the consideration of what it, what it takes to do this fine art, you know? They just wanna, you know, walk in my space and not care. Daddy, chill. Okay, anyways, sorry, I got, I lost my temper there, you guys. Just make sure that it is lightened up. Just don't go past that line. And we're good, guys. So on this part, I have the my clipper comb, and I'm gonna clip over comb my brother's hair. So you see that hair that is sticking out? That's the hair that you want to cut. But make sure, make sure that the comb is straight up. You don't want to have it at an angle to dig it in. So you want to, if the comb is straight up and you just slice that hair, it's gonna make his, you know, the shape come together. So whatever hair that is sticking up, that's the hair that you want to cut. But please, please be careful that you do not dig into the hair, you know, because you will patch them. And you don't want that. I've done that before. Um, and it is really hard to cover up. Trust me, you guys, from experience. So just make sure that that your comb is at, you know, like a straight angle. So that way, because you can see right now that the, the the shape is coming together, you know? So just make sure that it is straight and don't dig into the head. Please don't, guys. So now that we're done doing all of that, we are gonna have the zero guard and I am gonna have my lever all the way open. So I am just flicking up, flicking, flicking, flicking. And uh, it's gonna lighten up that line just a tad. And then I'm gonna go halfway to lighten up even more. And then closing it to just finish it off. So you do wanna play with it a lot and make sure that um, you don't really wanna dig in. Cause I like, because you're trying to keep the shape so this flick 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 and as you can see i am flicking and it's taking out that line a lot it's just lightening it up and uh pull it play <laughs> sorry guys play with your levers you guys please um i'm sorry i mess up a lot in these videos you don't even know how many times i have to retake you know doing the voiceover because either my voice cracks or I just my tongue gets tied and it's just, it's, it's it's hard to just keep going back so anyways just uh, make sure that you guys just flick out use the corners and just play with the levers a lot especially in this you know straight hair straight hair So now that we're gonna do the lineup, <laughs> and the most important thing is to make sure that the lineup is straight and crispy. <laughs> Just make sure that it is crispy, you guys. Please start from the middle and then work your way from left to right or right to left. It doesn't really matter. But to start from the middle because it is going to make a base and that way when one side is gonna meet the middle and then the other side is gonna meet the middle, it's all gonna be straight and even. Yes, yes, that is the answers. So 
so now that this video is about wrapped up i want to thank you guys for watching my video um i'm going to be posting more because i have nothing else to do at home just to cut hair so uh i'm gonna stay on top of it you guys i really am trust me i am okay just please make sure to like comment subscribe to my youtube and also go check out my other videos too you guys um i do post a lot more they need to get the views up you guys you know so just please and uh, my next video will be coming in within the next couple days uh it's gonna be a banger so but look how crispy this hair looks okay look at that boom but yeah again please don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram subscribe to my youtube and so long you guys i'll see you guys in a couple days